The right hander back to work. That's oh, a little oh. bit low. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Looked like he reached back and got a little extra on that one. Triple digits off the miles per hour through the zone. No yeah, chance yeah. of touching that one. So digging in, Hank Cahill. Run, run, run. He's trying for third. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to third, and he's out. Next offering is in for a strike. All tied up here in extra innings. And a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout. So they go quietly there. We push on to the 11th. All tied 1-1. One, one. We're in extras here. Leading and here is J.R. Odom. The second base. Man at second. Nobody out. Chris. Odom. Certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Saker has a beat on it, and there's one away. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Brandon Carter on the pitch here. He's pitching. And here's the first baseman, Jesus Campaneris. The first baseman, Jesus Campaneris. Next pitch is outside. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Righty delivers. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Popped up right side. Sanchez drifts towards it. Makes the grab. One away. Now batting. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Roger Corona. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Runner at second here, one gone. This to third. Now only one out remaining. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this, positioned perfectly. So up next, Griffin Kona. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And there's the strike. Runner at second, two down. Next pitch misses, and one and one. A little bit low. Can't make the play. Around third. Hardman with a relay home. Save. He scores, and it's a one run game. Number 17 will hit next. That's in for a strike. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Check swing didn't go. One and one. And here it comes. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Tying run at first, the winning run at the plate. Next offering is downstairs. That's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball. 
Swing and a miss. And that's the ball game. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras in 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out. But I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down. J.R. Odom now the play. For the, B, the second baseman, J.R. Odom. And first offering is fouled off. Late with the swing there. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Swings through it for the K. The high heat, too much on that one. I always see it more commonly in the sport these days, now but man, a triple digit fastball blown right by someone is still pretty awesome to witness. I mean, you got to be geared up and ready to swing it when a guy like this comes out of the bullpen because that fastball, it eats, and if you're not ready, you're going to be walking back to the dugout. The 1 0. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen, so hard to play catch up. And that one in the air center field. Me, me, got it, got it. To cheat. Snags it for the second out. The batter. The so they're hit. down to their final out. And now Griffin Kona. Kona. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like the pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Left-hand batter waits. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Just one strike away. And there's a ball. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. That's the third. And that is the ball game. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chum. Thanks for joining us.